What's going on YouTube? So my monster finally has a new tank. Uh, this is a brand new tank that's been coated. As you can see, it doesn't hit anymore. So yeah, finally uh, a nice fitting tank. So the problem with my uh, bike now is since the tank has shrunk, so the seat is um, deformed a little bit because it's been hugging the large tank uh, for a while so it's, I need to kind of, I don't know if I can form it again to uh, a slimmer tank or just get a whole new brand new seat so but right now I can notice the how slim the new tank is but when you you know when you get on it you can feel it Yes, yeah, so, uh, hopefully they transferred all my gas. I don't have, I didn't have much, but I'm gonna try to fill it up when I get home and see how much, um, if I got extra room um, in terms of uh, gas capacity, but. So it's been casual coated, so it shouldn't expand in the near future, if anything. So, uh, feels good. Feels like a new bike, actually. Crap. So that's pretty much it. So I, I've been uh, I've been having that problem with the monster for uh, since I got it. So it's a common mo it's a common problem with monsters. Um, actually, only the 2006 and up era, the one when they started using plastic tanks. The older monster used the uh, metal tanks, and they, they didn't have this issue. So, and it was uh, it, mine was so expanded that it was pushing. Um, to the ignition area here and it's getting kind of dangerous so and I couldn't even open the gas tank to um, clean the air filter and all that so it's a, it's a must uh, it's necessary even though it was expensive it's pretty important to get it done what's going on YouTube so just a follow-up video on the pickup day of the monster after the tank replacement so as you can see here brand new tank i've already put on the side grips and the protective tank pad uh, on both sides as you can see here and here's the main thing that the reason why i replaced it because see now when i put this to lock it doesn't hit the tank before it would hit it and that's why you could see if there's there's this mark here that that's because it's been hitting the um, the tank and now I can open the gas tank and access the air filter and service it and all that it's not pushing against the ignition anymore so it was a pretty expensive um, repair uh, it cost me 1300 for the tank and the necessary parts to replace it plus uh, around $580 in labor but the $580 were um, it included other things um, I had them replace some um, bolts that are close to stripping and so for so I don't have to worry about it when I um, when, the, when the time comes that I have to uh, unscrew those bolts I don't have to worry about stripping them again so it's a brand new bolt and as you can see I installed also the um, carbon fiber chain guard so on this side as you can see here I just want to show you guys what the bike looks like now I mean you can't really tell um, any big difference compared to before but uh, it's a brand new tank so the paint is brand new it's very shiny also here's the old tank yeah. it's I have it sitting outside in the Sun um, I'm hoping that it could actually shrink back to size and maybe maybe I'll sell it or maybe I'll keep it as a spare and uh, or maybe I can just um, have somebody coat this too after it's it's shrunk back, but I have to measure. I have to do a measurement and make sure that it actually shrunk back, or else it'll just be a waste of time. But yeah, that's the old tank, and here's the new tank. So, yep. I mean, so far, I don't have any more big plans on this bike. I'm still trying to see if I want to keep the bike or uh, trade up to a 701. But uh, at the moment, it's pretty. It's a pretty good bike. Um, so I'm kind of debating if I should just use it for the year and um, look into getting rid of it at the end of the year. 
But at the same time, the, the longer I keep it, the more I'm tempted to buy an exhaust system for it, which is, you know, a couple thousands to get it right. Because I'm going to buy the exhaust, I'm going to buy the, tune, the fuel uh, management system. So it's going to be another $2,000 of expense. And I, I'm trying to think if if it's worth it to spend that money if I'm going to down the road change it uh, or, you know, um, let it go anyway. But um, I need to make a decision and I need to think about it really hard and see if I really want to keep it. I don't know. What do you guys think? I have a the Panigale sitting right there and I have the, um, you know, this bike. So I just need to make sure I, I'm doing the right thing and thinking about getting rid of it so what would you guys do if you have keep both or because i don't have room for a 701 and you guys already saw my small garage i don't have a um, big garage space i only have room for one more bike so yep yeah, um it's a nice bike overall um i don't have uh, any complaints about it and this this carbon fiber is fading and i'm thinking about replacing it um there is a um, Ducati performance version of this fender where it's a little bit more sharper um, and I, I'm thinking about replacing it with that and other than that cosmetic wise it's overall it's pretty good already and that's the last thing that really that needs attention yep so just to wrap up old tank and a new tank This uh, tank pad also has um, two more parts on the sides. I just didn't put it on because like, I don't want to um, ruin the lines of the white stripe. So I don't know. Maybe later on I'll put it on. But right now it looks pretty good just as is. Give you guys a much uh, wider shot here. Yeah, so far the bike really looks good. I mean... Just, you know, I wish I could keep more bikes, but I can't. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.